Okay, I'm running Linux Mint 14.1 in a VMware player virtual machine. And I have it right here. And I'd like to go to a situation where I could go to full screen mode. Now you can see here that when I go to full screen mode, I have a black border around the outside so it doesn't quite stretch all the way. And if I minimize that and then try to manually just sweat, stretch it, you can see that it won't go into full screen mode. So how can I get my VM here of Linux Mint 14.1 to go full screen mode. Well, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go over here to Player and I'm going to go over to Manage and I'm going to click on Install VMware Tools. And you can see at the bottom here it says make sure you are logged in, mount the virtual CD drive in the guest, it gives me a bunch of recommendations here. Um, I'm going to have to uncompress the installer and execute vmware-install.pl to install VMware tools. So it tells me exactly what I need to do. And you can see that it auto-mounted the VMware tools. There's the, the disk of it right there on the desktop. And it opened the CD or the virtual CD. And you can see that there is my um, VMware tools tar.gz file. So what I need to do is basically uncompress this. So I could just right click on it and click Extract To. And I'm going to extract it to my folder Dan and VMware Tools. Let's choose a different folder. So I'll go to Home and I'll go into my Downloads folder and I'll click Extract. All right, so now that that's done, I can go to my home folder into the downloads folder, and you can see that I have a folder in there called VMware-Tools-Distrib. So I can open this folder up, and you can see here there is the file that I'm going to need to launch, VMware-Install.pl, right? And I'm going to, first of all, go into, let's say, the dock area, and look at the README and install docs. There's the open source licenses, there's a README file, and there's an install file. Let's just go right to the install file. I'll double click on it. And you can see it opens in Pluma, which is a text editor here, a word processor. And if I scroll down, it says, to install, you must have super user privileges, be logged in as root to run it, and I need to run, basically, the file right here and it says if I'm running it for the first time, which I am because I haven't run VMware tools on this VM yet, then I need to hit enter each time I'm prompted and just accept the defaults as I'm installing. So these instructions are pretty helpful to let you know what it is you need to do. Right? Once the installation upgrade is complete, I can remove the directory from my system. I can delete the folder. Okay. Um, all right says also in order to run correctly when I'm configuring it I might want to run the program vmware-config-tools.pl and it says but this is automatically done for me at the end so I don't have to really worry about that okay so let's do it so what I'm going to do is I'll close this and I'll just go up here and you can see this is the file we want to run let's run it from the command line though so what we'll do is we'll go to menu and we'll go to terminal and you can see I have a terminal here and let's see if we can make it, the text bigger. All right. Okay, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. All right, that should be a little bit better. So now if I do an ls command to see where we're at, see there's my downloads folder. So I'll just change directory into downloads and run another ls. There's the file I want to go into. So I'll change directory vm tab for tab completion and hit enter. And now I'm in the correct folder. I'll do an ls and you can see there is the file that I want to run. So I'm going to elevate to 
um, super user permissions by doing a sudo at the beginning and then space dot which will reference this directory forward slash vm tab vmware dash install dot pl and hit enter and I need to put in my password and I'm just going to hit enter at each prompt to accept the default that's inside of between the brackets so I'll just hit enter and enter and enter and now it's going to be a series of basically accepting the defaults so I'm just keep hitting enter to accept all the suggested responses you can see right there that it ran the configuration command right before I exited. Let's see if we can see that again. I think I saw that run. Maybe not. I could have sworn I saw that running the configuration command. VMware tools thin print start running. Okay, the kernel completed successfully. Okay, so at the end it says manually start uh, to enable advanced X features, guest resolution fit, drag and drop, you will need to do one or more of the following. Either manually start VMware user from this directory right here, user bin VMware user, or uh, log out and log back into your desktop session and restart your X session. So that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm going to close this. I'm actually going to shut down this VM so I'll go to menu and I'll select quit and then I'll select shut down with the VM shut down now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna launch the VMware player and before I restart my VM I'm going to select it. Here it is, Linux Mint 2, and I'll go to Player and Manage. No, I'll go to Player. How about Edit Virtual Machine Settings? And I'm going to remove the floppy drive since I keep getting this error on the floppy drive. So I'll just remove that and click OK and then launch the virtual machine. Okay. I'll type in Dan and my password. You can still see I'm getting the floppy drive error message but I'm not concerned about that too much. What I do want to see is if my full screen capabilities are now in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the window up here to the top and see if we can go into full screen mode. You can see now that I can have my VM of Linux Mint occupy the entire screen. And if I want to go to full screen mode, I can also go to full screen mode and now it's edge to edge on my monitor. This is my laptop screen.